can you give us an update on the two positive COVID tests that reportedly came down this weekend, please? Uh, yeah, there, there was um, a couple positives, and luckily the con contact tracing um, was limited, uh, and yesterday's test results were all negative, and um, so we're, we're just moving forward with that protocol and taking it from there. Hey, Cliff, what was the uh, the bye week protocol? Did guys, did guys have to come in every day? And when did you discover that these guys were positive? They did uh, come in every day um, from 6 to 9. They had a window to get tested, so they were all in every day, and uh, we discovered it this weekend. Coach, I know you, you've talked a lot about coming out of the bye in a, in a good way and, and bouncing back. Does this... Do you feel like this could impact you guys in any way in that sort of uh, situation? No, I don't. I mean, we, we addressed um, last year coming out of the bye how poorly we played. And um, I think the first step is always recognizing that and addressing it. And we adjusted our schedule. We've adjusted some things. I think just by the nature of guys having to stay in town to get tested will we'll be good for our focus and continuity. And um, so I don't see this being a problem as we move forward. Next up, Catherine, Mike, Bob. Cliff, to follow up on that, how obviously you still have all this week ahead of the Dolphins, but how successful do you think that's been so far compared to how things felt last year on the Y? I feel better about it. I think um, it was just new to us, to me personally, having that much time off during a season, a football season. I probably didn't handle it very well from the head coach's position. And um, we definitely took a look at it during the off season to see how we could be better. And um, we feel like we implemented a good plan. And um, obviously, we hope it pays off, but we'll see. I, like I said, I think a huge part of it is just the players being able to be here every day. A lot of them you know, would come in, work out, get some treatment, and stay more locked in than maybe on a, a normal uh, bye week when you have that much time off. Cliff, do you anticipate getting some guys back this week, like Jalen Thompson? What's the latest on Max Williams? I'm hopeful. Both those guys um, will get out there today and, and run them around and see where they're at. Um, it'd be nice to get both of them back, but both of them are kind of day to day at this point. Cliff, two things. Is, is practice normal conditions today, or do you have to do more protocols? And um, I guess you can't name who the two positives were. Yeah, I won't name those, but it, it'll be um, business as usual when it comes to practice today. Next up, Catherine, Kyle, and Kent. Cliff, um, how's Kenyon Drake doing, and where's, timeline-wise, when might he be back? Um, he, he's day-to-day. -day. I know it looked more severe probably than um, it's going to end up being, hopefully. Um, he, he's really made good progress, but I'm not sure if it'll be enough to, to get him back this week. But um, we feel like from where we started to where we are now, we, we've been very fortunate. Cliff, I know you said the, the contact tracing looked promising. Are you worried at all that some of the position groups could be affected if some positive tests are lagging and, and that might pop up later at all this week? I'm not. Um, you never know with this, this situation as it's pretty fluid day to day, but um, I feel like you know having the all negatives uh, come back from Sunday was a big step in the right direction and, and just hopeful that continues throughout the week. Now, Cliff, how do you, do you spend the, the last four or five days to, you know, balance between work and maybe getting a little bit of downtime that doesn't come very often? Yeah, you know, the remainder of the week, try to get ahead um, on the Dolphins, on the Bills, uh, knocked as much out as we could to set us up for this week. And then um, just hung out, you know, Saturday and Sunday, relaxed a little bit and ready to roll today. We'll wrap it up with Bob and Catherine, please. Cliff, I, it's just, it's always been a fluid situation with the virus, but you're five and two, think you're rolling pretty well. You're getting a bunch of guys back. What What's it like when you hear you, you get coke, you get two positives and you're hoping for the best, but you, you just don't know. What, what was that like for you personally and the team? Just the emotional, you know, roller coaster of what this, whole season really has become yeah i've talked about it you know since uh really july or training camp just it, it wasn't a matter of if it was a matter of when um this would occur and uh it's it's how teams handle it the best 
um, those teams are going to be at the top of this deal, and we understand that. And so um, as these things pop up, we have to be able to continue to move forward and, and next man up and all these things we, we've talked about throughout the season, and we continue to talk about it. So guys, um, you know, I think have a good understanding of how we'll handle this, how we'll move forward, and we can't let it affect our mentality or how we approach the next week's game. Cliff, did you do anything fun for Halloween? I did not. I bought a bunch of candy and nobody showed up. So I didn't know that it got canceled. But apparently, usually, like, the neighborhood is jumping off, too, but zero. Good preparation, though. It ready. got canceled? It got canceled. I actually got to the point of the night where I just went and set all the bags of candy outside just in <laughs> case there were any stragglers, but zero Halloween people.